just begin by saying, if anybody's listening, we really need your assistance to both promote and participate in the 2021 census. It's all about sustainability this year, and it's open until August 20th. So you still have some time to fill it in. And it's really going to be an amazing report at the end. And it's going to be even better if we have more CA operators participating. We have to define what sustainable practice means in the industry, and then we need to measure against it. And, and we don't do that. And I, and I mean, you know, the thing with CEA, of course, is it's inherently more efficient, inherent, inherently more sustainable than soil-based farming. Um, but it's like, but how do you prove that? And how do you evidence that? Um, and I think also, you know, just in general with agriculture and, and farmers, I mean, they're getting, they get way too much of a hard time, in my opinion. Um, and in terms of like the downward pressure I mean, right. use you know, less everything. pesticides and use less of this and use yeah. less of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's like it's just an unrelenting amount of pressure that farmers experience, which I think is is unfair because it puts them under duress. Um, and it's not like they're not willing to change or they're not willing to look at new ways of doing things. And I, and I think really the 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 change that has to come, particularly from governments, is you know, being more genuinely supportive. So don't regulate farmers to death, you know, actually get in there and, you know, subsidize and incentivize change, you know, and 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 educate them on more sustainable practices um, and encourage more, and quite selfishly, I'll say, encourage more ag tech uh, innovation and, um, and implementation on the farms to really move them to a more sustainable uh, practice. You know, I think that's really important. As you know, I'm passionate about sustainability, but I also studied it for my master's degree. And I think one of the things that I really learned early on was that it begins with reporting and it begins with looking at whatever your business is. In this case, it's CA operations. It begins with looking at that and understanding your sustainability impact, waste, water, labor, energy, et cetera. And if you don't measure, you know, you can't get it done. And I think that what in our sector, it's less mature than other sectors from a sustainability perspective. And so we do have some catching up. And so when we say that CEA is, you know, inherently more efficient, I mean, it has the potential to be, but it really depends on that context. Mm -hmm. And so it can be a great advantage to the operators to report early on, to take the leading role and say, we know what we're doing. We know what our impact is, because it also allows you to find improvement areas across your operations through data that's also valuable. But it really yeah. begins with that first step of saying, we know what our impact is. And so what the census is providing is, is a first step towards reporting that I think is critical across any sustainability initiative. And if you think about the topic of regulations, right? Regulation is sort of coming and, and you know it's this train that's coming towards you and you sort of know when it's gonna come, but not exactly, but you know it's significant. Reporting allows you to get ahead of it to say like, we have the answers beforehand. We don't need to like fumble around to figure out, do we fit, are we eligible? And if you look at the building sector responding to energy efficiency requirements in New York, they get ahead of it and they start reporting earlier so they don't have any of those issues with dealing with regulators. And so I think it's a really great point you made about the regulation changes that are happening. And one of the reasons why as a sector, there's a business case for getting ahead of understanding your sustainability impact and talking about it and reporting it. And I'm excited yeah. about that in particular because I think it gives people the opportunity to take the lead. The challenge is, is that when it comes to CA operators, it's like, where do they fit in this sustainability strategy? And one of the key issues is there's not a lot of data that's available to understand the impacts of different types of CA farms or any CA farm. There's not a lot of standards related to that. And there's also a lot of greenwashing that exists. And so one of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to, uh, because the, the, the downside of that is that those CA operators that are using renewable energy or really tracking water and optimizing it or really using substrates that are organic, they're not getting credit for that. And so one of the things we're trying to do with the census is to really benchmark and sort of say, where do you stack up? And I think that that is gonna help CA operators get ahead of the game, um, whether it's in the EU where sustainability policies are already advanced, right? You can't get away with sort of like pretending you're green in the EU or in the US where it's certainly catching up as well. And so we're really trying to sort of get ahead of the curve. And I think that's a really important step 
in sustainability, especially in a sector that I would say is less mature from a sustainability metrics perspective. 